Mr. Frog, and and this is Raya. So we are two sisters, and this is Bibi. So, Shalom. What do you have to say? Hello, so, uh, my name is Raya, and this is Bibi. That's Bibi the cat. Yes, ma'am. All right. And what else? What else are you going to say? Y'all got to tell them to say Toda for subscribing and like and tell them to say Toda. Tell for subscribing to the channel. Oh. Care for tell them push the like button. Y'all got to look at them though. They're push looking the at like you. Button. Look push at them. The like Show them how pretty button. you can smile. And show them your flowers. Aren't those pretty? What color is your flower? Pink. What color is yours? Uh, yellow. Yellow. Yes. Yellow, yes. yellow so like I'm the what? Say that. Y'all, are y'all going to talk to the camera? Shalom! Shalom! I need y'all to sing them one song. Y'all still haven't sang them a song yet. Sing them a song. Stay in For Yahweh. Righteous in all his ways. I will praise and exalt you. You are Yah. I will give toll unto your name. What's your name? My name is Davida. How old are you? Eight. All right, we hope you all enjoyed this video, and I apologize. You never know what Rhea and Kefra will do in a video. So, shalom, shalom. Show them the flower again. All right. Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I am Ima Rafaya, and this morning, daughters, I showed you our garden about a month ago. And I want to show you how Yah has blessed the garden. But before we go to the garden, come with me. Come on, let me just show you this. How beautiful this is. I like flowers. Okay, let me take that back. I love flowers. Look at this beautiful hydrangea plant. When I was a little girl, my grandmother always had these in her yard. And I thought it was old lady flowers. But today I know they're just beautiful flowers from Almighty Yah. Look at the beautiful, the color of the blue. Isn't that beautiful? Yah is tough. I love flowers. All the sisters here, we have learned to love flowers. We know how to transplant. We know how to grow. I used to kill flowers, but today we know how to make them grow. Isn't this happening today? Now I want you to follow me because I must show you the labor of Rayok's heart with the garden. Look at our tomato vines. Isn't that beautiful? We had two nice rains. I'll say maybe three. And look at the height of the tomato vines. We've got corn. Oh my. I like my corn raw. Isn't that beautiful? Down this row here, we have heads of cabbage already starting to form. Next to the cabbage, we have okra. Now, which one is this? Which one is this? This is cauliflower. Okra, cauliflower. Collard greens. We picked collard greens the other day, too. We're going to partake of that for dinner today. Okay, is this cauliflower or broccoli? broccoli? I think this is broccoli. This is broccoli. But can I tell you something, daughters? When the broccoli, the heads form, you can cook the leaves. You cook them just like you cook collards. You don't have to season them with meat. You just cook them. Add a little liquid smoke, a little bit of coconut oil. Here at Teshua, we have mastered how to cook greens. Not, mm, not too much, not too much uh, oil. And you can use smoked uh, turkey wings if you'd like. 
But we just learn to do, you do without. Because if you don't have, then you learn to do without. Follow me. I have, we have some more uh, cabbage here and corn. Corn, corn, corn. You can grill the corn, you can boil the corn, you can roast the corn. You don't have to just make it always fattening all the time. And we're gonna, we may can some this year. If we get an abundance, we will do cream corn and pack it up for the winter. Keep following me. We have more tomatoes here. All these are tomatoes and between the, the tomatoes are okra. And if you don't like okra, you need to visit Tashua community. Your hatred for okra will become a love affair. I'm not kidding. We know how to stir fry it to your liking. We know how to batter fry it. You just haven't had it done the right way. But if you come to Tashua community, you will fall in love with okra. Keep following me. Here in this bed, we have more collards and cabbage, and I think on the last row is broccoli. Yes, because I see the heads forming right there on about that third row. You, you got that, kid? Yes, ma'am. These are beans that Rhea has in this, these two little beds right here. There's the beans. I don't know what kind. Let me see. Green beans. Those are green beans. We have more tomatoes, peppers. Oh, my. And my favorite, favorite greens. My favorite greens. You can eat these raw, sweetheart. You can eat these raw. You just wash them, chop them real fine, and take the whatever kind of oil you like, olive oil, coconut, and massage them just a little bit. Put some uh, coconut amino on that. Let it set overnight. Set it out, let it get room temperature. And what a feast. This is very delicious. We all love it here. Can I tell you, I even got the Kadushams here eating a little bit of raw. They like it too. Anything I cook, the daughters of Tazayan here, they like it. The daughters of Tazayan here, they like Ema's cooking. All right, we're gonna come up this road with more tomatoes and basil. I didn't know what it was, my daughter told me. This is basil right here. We have lettuce, we've been picking from our two beds of lettuce at least twice a week. Can I tell you, Doris, once you learn how to grow your own food, you can better your health. Yeah, it is about losing weight, but the number one thing is to become healthy. So as you get older, you have to learn how to eat better for your health, your well-being. And women going through menopause, there's always going to be a battle because of our Mother Eve. But daughters, listen to me. You can overcome it by just learning how to plant your own food and to prepare it a little more healthy. We want to live. We want to be able to work in the garden, work with our children, take care of ourselves. And it all starts with you taking care, getting the right mindset. But let me leave a scripture with you today. I wrote it down. Hallelujah. And it's coming from Psalms 128, verses 1 through 2. It says, Barak is everyone that fears Yah that walk in his way. We must walk in Almighty Yahweh's way, not our way, his way. For you shall eat the labor of your hands, you saw the labor, happy shall you be, and it shall be well with you. We want to be happy walking in this truth. Notice I am happy. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I'm happy being here, not going anywhere. I have two daughters standing behind the camera. Hallelujah. This is a whole Shekinah. Shalom, y'all baruch. This is Kefra's mom. Yes, I am. She can tell you how to dress Kodash. <laughs> and we'll be back with you all next week. We're going to show you some more Kodash dressing. Yes. Because we, 
And like I said, once you get the mind dressed right, the outward appearance will come also. Because you want to please y'all in everything that you do. The world is not ever going to be pleased with the way we dress. Even if I had on Louis Vuitton shoes, it wouldn't make any difference with the world. They want to know you wasted all your money on that. So we want to please y'all, number one, in everything that we do. And next week, we'll be back with you with more Kodash dressing. Shalom, shalom. Have an excellent y'all. Shalom, y'all Baruch. Shalom, Mahokim. I'm just going to show you the children over here at the playground. Yes, this is my work outfit, what we, you know, work in during the week. Just something simple, casual. My bag to keep our walkie-talkies and phones and stuff so that we can hear everyone. If you need to be called, it's a big place, so you need to have some kind of communication on you. So I have a radio, walkie-talkie, so whenever they need me, I'm available. Um, so come on with us and see the children out here at the playground. This is what they do when school is out in the morning time. So long. So long, children. We have David and Kefra playing in the sand. What are you making? We're having a challenge. We all have contestants and whoever wins, oh, we're going to get Pound them. cake is on the menu? Yes, ma'am. All right. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And click that like button. Tell everyone shalom. Look, Kefra. Shalom. Click that like button. Click the like button. Yes. Shalom. Look, Kefra, tell them. Tell them, say, come play with me in the sandbox. Come play with me in the sandbox. Did you want to say anything else? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. If you Look at the camera. Go, if you want to come in and do sand, you have to wash your hands. After you play in the sand? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. hold on, yes. hold on. All right, we have Yahuda. Are you baking, Yahuda? Yes, ma'am. What you making? I'm making a cake. All right. A dump truck cake. Oops. A dump cake. Okay. These are our young Ahokin. Shalom. Shalom. Our two graduates, Hadassah and Saria. Shalom. We have Ahava and Sapora. Shalom. They're next in line. And over here we have Tifra and Raya. Shalom, Tifra. What you making? Right. What kind of cake are you making? Caramel. Caramel. That's nice. Raya, what are you making today? I'm making cake. Yeah. I'm making cake. I'm making cake. Cake. Oh, wow. Are you enjoying your summer? Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Shalom, shalom, Mahokim. Just a little bit of Teshua this morning. Yahweh Baruch.